When it comes to great Chromebooks over the past few years, the Acer Chromebook Spin series always comes to mind. Specifically, the 13-inch models have been exceptional. This latest Chromebook Spin 513 keeps nearly everything great about the previous 13-inch Spin models, like the Spin 713, but it has a few tricks of its own to add to the mix, making it easily one of the most compelling Chromebooks on the market right now. Let's talk about why that is. So going back a few years, the first Acer Chromebook Spin 713 was a bit too expensive, but it was Acer's first real attempt at a more premium Chromebook. Now that, that device introduced Acer's now famous 13.5 inch 3x2 QHD screen in the Chrome OS space. And with every following release, they've only improved on that formula with each passing year. Two more iterations have come and gone of the Chromebook Spin 713, and with each evolution, it's just been a better device. This year, Acer looks to be moving in a slightly different direction, putting the more premium touches on their recently announced Spin 714 and leaving the legacy look and feel of the Spin 713 for the device that we're going to talk about today, the Chromebook Spin 513. Now, don't let that five in the model number fool you though. This Chromebook feels every bit as good as the Spin 713 many users have known and loved, but there are some key differences that make me like this latest Spin a bit better than its predecessors. All right, so let's start with the outer portions. If you've ever handled a Spin 713, you know what to expect here. This thing is Acer through and through, but in all the right ways. The lid and the base are both aluminum, both firm, and have a really great shade of dark gray to them. The combo of the color, the chamfered edge around the lid make things look slick, and the thin, light form factor makes for a really overall modern and attractive laptop. It's only 16 millimeters thick and only 2.8 pounds, so the portability is really high, even with the large display that we'll talk about here in just a minute. And even with all that thinness and lightness, Acer still managed to put a single finger lid lift into this thing too, even though that's a super tricky thing to do on a convertible with a 360 degree hinge. It's a nice touch, and overall, this thing is well made and you feel it immediately. Adding to the svelte nature of the Spin 513 is the fact that we have no fan ports outside on the chassis. There are speaker ports along the bottom and a pretty standard port array on the sides, but without fan grills on the back or the bottom of this Chromebook, things just feel extra tight and cohesive. Now, those ports I mentioned include a USB Type-C on both sides and a single USB Type-A on the left edge. All three are USB 3.2, and there's also a micro SD card slot and a headphone microphone jack included. While it's not the most robust port selection ever, it is a nice array for a thin, light, and highly portable Chromebook. And once we crack the lid open, there's a lot to like on the inside. Notably, the screen is the same brilliant class of display that we've seen on other Spin 713 models in the past. It's 13.5 inches, the resolution 2256 by 1504 and it's plenty bright at 360 nits. Colors are punchy with 100% sRGB coverage. The viewing angles are great and I've said this every time Acer uses this panel. I absolutely love this layout in a Chromebook. It's sharp, it's vivid, it's bright and with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio the screen just feels huge while really staying highly portable. Additionally, Acer included USI pen support on this one too, and it's really well done. Perhaps that's due to this same screen being used in previous generations, but taking notes with cursive on this device is just fantastic. While I wish there was a stowed pen included, all the USI pens that we have around the office that we tried work really well, and as long as you've got one around, you'll be in good shape. Now below that stellar screen is probably one of the only mediocre parts of this Chromebook the keyboard. It's backlit and it's fine, but Acer has better keyframes on other devices and this one is a firm meh. While it's not a deal breaker in any way, this is clearly one of the places Acer shaved a few dollars off and it's where this Chromebook does feel a bit more comfortable with that 500 series title as opposed to a 700 series. Under that keyboard is a solid, large glass trackpad that's honestly as good as it gets. The click is perfect, the surface is really smooth, and all your gestures that you want to do come off with ease. The real detractor here is the fact that the chassis surrounding the keyboard and the trackpad is plastic, but 
It's not cheap feeling. It literally feels like the exact same material Acer has used on the previous couple Spin 713s, and combined with the aluminum base and lid, there's no issue with rigidity, so I'm overall okay with it. Now more than ever, we have to think about how these devices handle video calling. While I love seeing better cameras and Chromebooks, the truth is, most video chats happen at 720p, so the better trick is to have a camera that's good at handling difficult lighting. While the 720p webcam on the Spin 513 generally looks grainy just thanks to low resolution, the combination of Acer's temporal noise reduction and a blue glass lens do seem to make a difference here. With most low-end Chromebook webcams, blown out images are just normal. But with the 513, it did a much better job than most with these kind of tough lighting conditions. The microphones work well too. Honestly, most most Chromebooks do this really well these days, but the speakers are less than ideal. They're bottom firing and a bit thin. They'll get you through a call just fine, but you're not going to want to listen to music or catch up on the latest episode of your favorite show without getting out some headphones. And finally, we come to the real star of the show here in the Spin 513 the MediaTek Companio 1380 under the hood. This is the first of its kind and by far the most powerful ARM processor to ever be put into a Chromebook. And let me tell you, it shows. With benchmark scores that rival that of a 10th gen Intel Core i3, this ARM chip is really fast. Using it on a daily basis, I never had to consider the fact that I was on a non-cooled, non-fanned, non-Intel processor. It flew through everything I threw at it, and it played Android games really well too. The benefits of ARM are more than performance though, and with this chip inside, the Chromebook Spin 513 easily hits the advertised 10 hours of use. Now that's enough power to get you through any day of work, and then some even with that higher resolution display. Now, though these aren't wild numbers, it's impressive that you can get this kind of performance with this high resolution display with no fans in a thin and light form factor, and it all just kind of works together. And that's all thanks to ARM, and I love what Acer and MediaTek are doing with it these days. Along with that SOC, we have eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal eMMC storage, a solid connectivity option with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, and the combination of all of that has made for unquestionably the most robust performance I've ever seen in an ARM-based Chromebook. I mean, by a long shot, and I love it. I was even able to push two additional Quad HD screens alongside its built-in display, so productivity isn't an issue either. So when you combine all of this into a single package for an MSRP of $614.99 and regular updates until June of 2029, you can quickly see why I think this is one of the more compelling Chromebooks available right now. You get great mobility out of a thin and light chassis, but high productivity with a large screen and power under the hood. Then you have the ability to last all day on a charge, convert it into tablet and stand modes, and do all of this without making any noise. I mean, I can see this Spin 513 fitting into all sorts of users' workflows over the coming months. I have other Chromebooks to review for the next little while, but I can assure you the Acer Chromebook Spin 513 is high on my list of devices that'll end up in my backpack the next time things settle down here at Chrome Unboxed. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.